So what is up you guys, Matt here, and we are back with another Splash Pad video. But this one's gonna be an update video. Um, I just got here, my dad's not even here yet, so he has to run up to Benji's house, which uh, he is a welder, so my dad needs to get stuff welded for him. So I'm gonna ride up with him and maybe I'll film in the vehicle, but I probably won't film up there because I don't know if he'll wanna be on camera or not. Um, but there's been a lot that's been going down since the Manifold video, and there's like, a lot of stuff that I haven't been recording because I, I don't know what to record because I know what the upcoming parts gonna be which the upcoming parts probably gonna be um, I think running the or running all the pipes for the splash pad but there's stuff in between it that I didn't even know that was going on so we're gonna give you guys an update in this video and kind of talk about it quickly and try not to make this a super long video but um, I'm here now but I'm just waiting for my dad to come so I figured I'd do the intro real quick and then we'll jump into the video. So I may pull out the camera in the car with my dad there, but we'll see you. And yeah, see you guys in a second. So now I finally got picked up by my dad. What we're gonna be talking about just real quick, like in brief, is I'm just gonna get my dad's opinion on so far how the splash pad has been. And let's kind of get that. So how's, how's the splash pad been so far? Well, we're just getting into the splash pad. We've been focused on getting the pool taken care of and getting the new plumbing into that and getting our gas lines around the project buried. And now that we got all that buried, we got brought the splash pad up to grade, which, so now it's a nice level surface right alongside the pool. And uh, we're getting ready to form up for concrete and to give us our area and then uh, pretty soon here we'll be marking out for all our plumbing yeah and I know it hasn't been an easy job I mean today is a nice day out but it's raining and it's supposed to rain this whole week which sucks yesterday it was nice and I got sunburnt but <clears throat> I think because I mean we, we're obviously doing more stuff to the pool than just the splash pad itself right right the tie-in tying in's a pain especially if it's already an existing pool but we decided to do that because i knew i had to make some repairs uh removing the concrete was the worst i uh was cutting concrete for three straight days with the concrete saw and uh i'm glad to be done with that yeah and then because we had to we had to obviously cut around the con or the pool because we had a tie in there and there was a leak in the pool anyways um you ran all the gas lines which we'll we'll go into depth when all this well that's there. another thing the the leak was actually in the light fixture so if anyone out there does have a pool leak and you don't know where it is it's possibly in the conduit underground coming out of the light fixture which didn't you actually think it was that beforehand i had it narrowed down to either a break in the main drain pipe but they ran flexible pvc so usually you wouldn't get a hole along that route um or the conduit yeah that was one of my things but i couldn't prove it till i dug it out and then uh we were adding water to the pool while we've been while we were digging and as soon as we got down to the conduit we saw the water coming out which i'm sure there's video of that yeah i have a clip of that which i can always show um so we ran the gas lines so far you redid all the pool plumbing um, we redid all the pool plumbing uh all three returns the main drain the skimmer put a new skimmer bass skid in then uh, uh what else oh and then we ran water line to the new pool room with all the new pool equipment because we're gonna be putting an auto fill in there so when the water level drops it'll fill the water back up for us yeah. instead of trying to put a hose in there and forgetting about it like i did before and having the pool pretty much overflow right but I'll, cu I'll cut the video here because obviously, I mean, us telling you this isn't really going to help you, but when we get back there, we'll kind of walk through and just kind of show you about the splash pad and just kind of an overall look at what we're doing right now. Um, 
but there are more videos coming up that we're gonna be filming that's based just on the splash pads so it's not done yet obviously there's still a lot that needs to get done and I guess we'll just jump back home because I'm not gonna film up at Benji's just because in case he doesn't want to be filmed so I'll see you guys in a second so we finally just got back and now we are gonna be kind of just going over what we've been doing it's a lot nicer out rain stopped thankfully yeah it's right so let's kind of just go over the whole i think of what's been happening since the fixture video well we put in i think i mentioned we ran all the new plumbing so we got it terminating right here for now which we're going to tie into the pool room and to all the new equipment inside the garage so right now it looks like a mess um over here we leveled up the pad to start with so we brought it up to grade about eight inches below the pool so it gives us room for the plumbing and the concrete for the splash pad we put some pins down we marked out the layout of the of the splash pad and then uh we just laid out the forms because those were curled up so we just laid them out so the sun will hit them and and they won't curl up on us right and like so obviously the first the first thing that we had to do was we had to break all that concrete up which yeah, we have some I, I i have nightmares about that but yeah we have some time lapses pretty of much that. done we just got a little bit more left to clean up and i i can throw i'll throw like some clips throughout this video of just kind of like quick run throughs of what we've been doing and it hasn't been fun whatsoever <laughs> i mean mainly the concrete part that was a pain and then the whole yard was dug up for probably like two days three days the yard was dug up we had to get down to the old pool plumbing we put all new plastic ports on the pool uh all new spa flex plumbing running to the pool room where you just saw uh, the light fixture, we had to run new electrical conduit because that was broke, like I mentioned. And uh, and then we also ran some gas lines for accessories for fire pits or outdoor kitchen or whatever we decide to do in the future. So we got all that down, we buried it back over, and then uh, we're just uh, working on the to get ready to lay out the splash pad yeah so we'll give you or we're gonna head over to where the um light was leaking just kind of give you guys an idea so i came down in the pool just kind of give you guys a better look so this is the light fixture if it will focus and this is where the light was leaking right in the back right where that yep. conduit is yep i made some new gaskets and uh siliconed it so it should not leak again which I, I do have a quick video of what it kind of looks like. Um, but in the video, it was leaking a lot more because when they dug down in here, uh, I mean, obviously the you guys broke. broke the conduit a lot more. Right. With all the pins here, um, I'll, give him, I'll let him just kind of explain because he can brief it a lot better. Well, uh, we set the height of the pins pretty much to the height of the, the stairs on the pool. Um, with the laser level because that way when we set the form up we're going to bring the form just above those pins and it should set our height for concrete so when we start running the splash pad plumbing we'll lay that out once everything's laid out then we'll fill stone in for the void underneath and bring everything up to where it's going to be before we get the concrete in here so this is actually what the layout is going to be like a little bit more um, visual. I mean, it's not gonna be. Look, it doesn't look really too good because that's still right. not in scene. It'll but look better when, before we pour the concrete. But it, it's a rough idea. Where the pins are is pretty much the shape of it, unless we decide to make any more changes. We we did make a slight change on it, but uh, um, just with the lower hump of the kidney bean shape, mm -hmm. we made it a little less aggressive than we were gonna go. Um, but it'll still be a cool shape and it'll be fun for the kids i mean it definitely looks pretty good it's definitely pretty big though i mean there's a lot of space where all the fixtures are going to be but i mean it's going pretty good so far but it's it's not as easy as you'd expect either to do it's it's been a journey i mean and it's not even really 
I mean, it's not really close to being done yet, in a sense. Well, we, we did say one to two weeks originally, and uh, we're in our second week, but we haven't focused on the splash pad yet. It was all getting the pool prepped and removing concrete and leveling out the yard and putting all the lines in and new skimmer and all the other stuff to prepare for the splash pad, so. Yeah, and if you're also doing like a tying kit and you gotta tear like the concrete away to tie in your lines, you may end up noticing more issues with the pool than what you actually expected. Like that's what we kind of ran into. <laughs> Yeah, which, which is kind of a good thing though because it gives you time to repair it because with a project this big that we're doing, it uh, you're fixing the problems now instead of them happening even worse in five years. So. Right. So is there anything else that we're kind of missing? I feel like we're missing stuff, but well, I mean it's going to get talked about eventually regardless. Right, right. Ignore the liner. That... <laughs> We got yeah. a new one we're gonna drop in there, so that's just catching all the debris, keeping it off the bottom of the concrete on the pool. So we're gonna we're gonna leave the liner in until our concrete's in, then we'll pull it out and put the mm -hmm. new liner in. But Which uh, will be I mean it won't be too hard to do I imagine. Are you have doing it or are you having somebody else do it for you? We're doing it. We're trying to do everything we can to keep our costs down. Yep. And I think coming up here soon, I'm I did get a new little toy for the um for the channel so it'll be pretty sweet to finally get and get out i've always wanted one but you guys will see in the future any last minute talks no stay tuned for the next one yeah so if you guys do enjoy this video feel free to like and subscribe um new video ideally every one week i'll try to do but sometimes stuff just takes longer to get out so it just comes a little bit later but if you do enjoy these videos, if you have any questions, drop a comment. We will be reading all of them, I guess, if there is any. But take care, have a good day, and see you guys later. Peace.